Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. These are my Black Friday home picks. I'm gonna start out with Ikea because I feel like this one actually does have a big chance of going on sale. They have had sales, Black Friday sales in the past and they're currently having a fall clearance sale. I didn't see any of the stuff on this list on the fall clearance. It seemed like more smaller items that were on fall clearance, but they have had Black Friday sales before. I want to make my place more varied, like not just Ikea stuff, so I'm kind of being careful how much stuff I get from Ikea. I feel like you could get a lot of the good basics and then kind of decorate around it and get some more stylized pieces to go with it so that it doesn't look like a whole Ikea catalog in your place. The first one I have on this list are the lac shelves. I've seen a lot of people using these to display their shoes. I have quite a few shoes that I really like and I don't currently like the setup I have for my shoe rack so I feel like this would be a good way to fix that because they're kind of decorative but you also don't have to connect them to the wall. You can just put them on a flat surface and they still look like they're connected to the wall so it's very renter friendly. I'm redoing my bedroom and I'm thinking I want to go with a lot of white furniture pieces and then use a lot of color in like rugs and my bedding and do kind of different colors and make it look a little bit more retro because I don't want to fall into the trap where everything looks really modern and I feel like that's something that happens a lot nowadays. It's all very modern in an attempt to look sleek but then it just starts to look not very cozy. That being said, I am gonna get the mom bed frame but without the drawers. I currently have the bed frame with the drawers in a black brown and I'm gonna go for a bit more white for the bigger pieces of my room and then use colors to spruce it up. The next one I have on this list is the Hovat mirror. It is just really plain looking and I like that and then it comes in a silver or a black. I personally am gonna get the silver. I'm just gonna lean it against the corner of my room and I also saw this on marketplace a little bit so I'm going to see if I can get it for a cheaper price on marketplace just because I feel like you can see right away if it's not in good condition so it's just a great thing to get for a little bit of a cheaper price I don't think it needs to be brand new for me personally I'm getting a bigger TV so I need a different setup for my TV console so I'm looking at the Besta IKEA furniture which is really popular I feel like if you know what it looks like, you'll actually see it in a lot of people's homes. I'm gonna go for more of a black brown Besta unit and you can get them, I believe the base model comes with three storage units, like three cubes. So I'm just gonna get one to start out with and see if I wanna add. That's the great thing about Ikea is you can always add stuff. And I currently have the black brown shelving it's like open shelving and it looks really nice with the core books and different candles. So I do ideally want to keep that and then have the best on the bottom if I like it and it doesn't look too busy to me. To go back to my bedroom, I am looking to get a makeup vanity because I never had one before. I just feel like it would be nice to have in my room. I'm going to kind of DIY it, like I'm going to buy the pieces and kind of put them together just because I was looking for makeup vanities and I didn't really like any of them that I was finding, but I did find a desk on Etsy, which I'm going to show later, that I felt like really fit kind of the vibe I was going for for my bedroom. So I thought these Alex drawers are also a great option to use as more shelving for a makeup vanity. I've seen people do it where they buy two and then just put a piece of white wood on top of it. I don't personally want to do that but it's something that you could do with them. I also might eventually get a second one for my desk because I just think they're really clean looking. It's just a great storage piece that doesn't look too clunky. So moving on to Etsy, this is the makeup vanity base that I'm going to get. It's technically a desk but I love how it has these details of the different shelves and I kind of already have stuff from Amazon to put and organize my makeup bins. I feel like I could slide those in those shelves and make them look a little bit more decorative at least for the time being before I get the drawers from Ikea. I was looking at this one on Wayfair but it is literally like $600 and I'm just not going to spend that kind of money on it. it doesn't seem reasonable to me. 
So I'm going to buy this desk and then maybe get an Amazon makeup vanity, kind of a classic looking one to put on top. Just a mirror with the lights on it. This wood one is currently 10% off. I'm not quite ready to look for all the decoration accents yet. I feel like I'm just trying to get the basics bought first. But when I do, I'm going to grab this CD case i believe there's two of them and i feel like it could be really cute with a coffee table that i'm going to show later putting it like on display there the ones that look nice as decorations i've already bought artwork like this from etsy before the seller i got it from before doesn't exist anymore but it was a great piece and i just got it as a digital download so i just bought the digital download and sent it off to staples and then bought a frame from amazon it was still about like a hundred dollars but it was definitely cheaper than getting it framed from the store i personally was just picking my favorite bands and my favorite movies i only have one so far but i have a bunch saved and then i'm just going to use those around my house so i was looking at this white duvet cover but i don't want to fall into the trap of like my whole room being white so i'm also looking at this brown set and it's not like i don't know it's a little bit of a risk because everything's gonna be white and then the walls are blue and i'm not painting them so the brown cover might clash but i think it's really gonna work especially because the carpets are brown as well i feel like the brown is just really cozy so this is the coffee table i was talking about i'm doing kind of a dark green accent in my living room and it's a little bit pricey so i think it's a great watch for black friday but i'm also considering of diying it myself probably more in the summertime when it's a bit warmer i have seen that you can get like wood pieces and then glue the tile on top with the chalking this one isn't furniture but i'm currently looking for a new tv so it gets an honorable mention i was looking at the samsung frame tv and i think it looks really cool but i don't like the idea of having to have someone put it up for me i just don't think for a renting situation or my current situation it makes sense so i'm just going for a little bit on the cheaper side reasonably priced samsung tv and i'm just getting it a little bit bigger than i had it i will see you guys next time